All right, folks, here we are today at work and we're using the uh, IFR 1900 and we're going to use the tracking generator and take a look at this notch filter here and, and look at its frequency response. So this uh, notch filter is typically used on our AM comm radios to attenuate uh, a spurious emission that could be emanating out of the comm radio at a specific frequency around 1.5 gigahertz that would directly affect GPS um, acquisition, receive, GPS receive. So we've got an airplane with an issue right now, a GPS receive issue when the comm is keyed up, the acquisition drops off to nothing and, and the GPS basically goes to dead reckoning. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, what a good notch filter here should look like. And we'll go ahead and plug that up here. And there we go. And we're basically sweeping from about 10 megahertz all the way up to 2 gigahertz. And you see the pronounced dip here in attenuation. And we'll go ahead and turn the marker on and we'll look and see where that's at. So we want to be 1.5. Let's go 7. Oh, we do that again. We want to be 1574. We'll start there. And then we will, or no, that's not right, five, there we go, one, one, five, seven, five, four, two. There's the exact frequency right there that we want to be on. So this notch filter is designed to attenuate that right there, 1.57542 gigahertz. And that will help us if we've got a comm radio that's got a spurious emission out there around that frequency and that'll attenuate that and you see it's attenuated by about uh, i guess about 40 db there and that will uh, keep us from losing our gps acquisition in the airplane and, and this next segment i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about and i'll come back uh, to the bench after that so we'll, we'll be right back <laughs> well, number two stayed on that time. Let's try it on number two. two stayed acquired. Wow. Oh, look, I just drop off. Yeah. Oh, no, it's holding it that one. Is that the same frequency we did the last time? Yeah. So number two is not like that. Yeah, man. Okay, so here we are back at the bench with the IFR 1900, and we've got the notch filter that was installed on this particular comm radio here on the tracking generator. And you can see with the same test parameters, about 10 megahertz to 2 gigahertz, we're basically seeing a pretty flat response with no attenuation out here at 1.57542 gigahertz. So that is definitely our problem. We've got a spurious emission out of the comm that is not being suppressed by the notch filter like it should be. So easy fix. We'll go ahead and um, put in a known good notch filter and he'll be on his way and he won't have any more GPS satellite acquisition problems. I just thought it's something interesting to show you. You know, it's um, a little different than the home bench. I thought I'd just come in here and we had this pop up today. I thought it'd be making a little, little interesting video. So that's about it. So we'll see you next time. Uh, maybe back at the home bench. And until then, 73s, everybody.